Hello people, in this video let us look at tropical pulmonary eosinophilia. So pulmonary, you understand right? Lung, eosinophilia, more eosinophils, tropical, where all these mosquitoes will bite you and you can catch these worms. Pestation. So look at this, there is a mosquito here, it is having this microfilariae. Can you see? <clears throat> this mosquito is there, it has microfilariae inside it, it is going to bite this innocent man and it is going to give the infective larva to him. And then he is going to have lymphatic filariasis, L-Y-M, lymphatic <coughs> filariasis. This is the disease he is getting, but which is the worm that is coming inside? That is Vucereria bancrofti or Brugia malai, so many other. Now what will happen, this microfilaria in blood, in this man's blood there are all these worms. And they are trapped in the pulmonary capillaries. How sad. They are going and sitting in the pulmonary capillaries. So this man will now get tropical pulmonary eosinophilia. Look at his leg, how it is swollen. Elephantiasis. So how do you, how will you get tropical pulmonary eosinophilia? You should be bitten by a mosquito which is infected by the microfilaria which is going to give you the disease. Okay, then what will happen to your lungs? The microfilaria trapped in the pulmonary capillaries. So these pulmonary capillaries are destroyed by allergic inflammation. Allergy means you can have this eosinophilia. Then how will this patient present? Paroxysmal cough, wheeze, fever. If untreated, this can go into chronic interstitial lung disease. Okay. These patients can also have fever, weight loss, dyspnea, asthma-like symptoms because it is more like an allergic condition, you can understand. <clears throat> when you take their uh, blood picture, you will see that eosinophils are more and there is an elevation of IgE because it is an allergic reaction, right? So you will see IgE will be more in these people. And when you check that there will be antibodies to these filarial, okay, anti-filarial antibodies titers you will see, okay, in these people. How will you treat? <coughs> so look at this. You will give them diethyl carbamazine, diethyl carbamazine, that is DEC, okay. And you should give them this treatment for how many days? 14 days. Some people are saying 3 weeks. Just remember, three, 6 mg per kg per day if you can, because this is very nice, you know, I have, very many times we have read this, 6 mg per kg per day, 6 mg per kg per day, 6 mg per kg per day, diethyl carbamazine, okay. So if the weight is around uh, 60 kgs, let us say, that man's weight is 60 kgs, so how much will you give? 6 mg, 60 kgs, 36, 360 mg per day you should give, correct no? 360 mg per day you should give, okay. This is all about tropical pulmonary eosinophilia. Just to go back here and see what we have studied about uh, Boucheraria bancrofti, it is a nematode, it causes filariasis, elephantiasis and uh, you will see it usually in the coastal areas and the mosquito will bite and this is the life cycle. <coughs> Definitive host is man and um, it will not lay eggs, okay. It will deliver microfilaria directly. So, how to differentiate the microfilaria, etc. you have seen. And what are the features of um, <coughs> filariasis? Lymphangitis, lymphadenitis, lymphedema, lymphangiovarix, hydrocele, right? Even the testis is affected in these people, right? All this can happen. Here is the eosinophilia which we just now looked at. They will have IgE more asthmatic wheezing cough dyspnea. So we told you right, this is the tropical pulmonary eosinophilia. Okay, then what else have you seen? How to treat? Diethyl carbamazine. Okay, following treatment with DEC, they can have a mesotic reaction due to death of microfilaria. So just remember this, mesotic reaction. In our uh, lab diagnosis video, we have seen how we can uh, detect. Basically, you will uh, give that person DEC and you will collect blood after half an hour. All the microfilaria will have appeared in peripheral blood. That is because these microfilaria, they are more active in the night. Okay, they come out into the blood in the night looks like. Okay, so instead of collecting the blood in the night, you can actually do a DEC provocation test. Okay, you give them DEC and then you collect the blood. So even in the urine, you can demonstrate microfilaria. So filariasis can be caused by Bucheraria bancrofti and Brugia malai. And even one more is there, Brugia timori or something. So, 
so many of them cause this um, lymphatic filariasis right anyways uh, in this video we wanted to look only at this uh, topic tropical pulmonary eosinophilia which we have looked at and we also looked at a lot of uh, generic things about the Bucheria bancrofti okay that's it for now guys hope you have learned uh, something in this video bye bye